So I'm sure as most of you are quite familiar when turning, uh, swarf is always a bit of a problem, especially drives me nuts is uh, when it gets into all these little crevices, all the tea slots. And um, although it's not like uh, the biggest problem in the world, it'd be nice if that didn't happen. So of course one way of uh, preventing these slots from filling up with swarf is to fill them with something else. So um, there's, a, there's a new supplier on the market and uh, I've been sent these to try out. And they're essentially uh, 3D printed um, like sort of uh, well fillers for the for the T slot so it's like a, it's a bit like a T nut but it's a obviously a full length of the um, cross slide there and they're made out of I think it's PLA plastic uh, I don't have a 3D printer so I don't really know uh, much about them but um, yeah he sent me these along and, and they just simply slot into the slots and uh, it, it, if you buy five of these I think it's five uh, it comes with a little uh, mounting bracket as well which is a uh, pretty handy uh, so you get your put you put your um, 3d printed um, well T bars I guess you could call them and uh, I've also cut a couple down so that uh, I can also fill up that gap there you know obviously the nuts at the front there so it can't be there's actually a bit of swarf in there so it's not going fully in and then uh, the off cut at the other end of course can fill up the uh, the gaps I've already put one in there so they can fill up all the little gaps around and then of course when you you know when you've done some turning and you're covered in swarf nice and easy to just um, just brush that off uh, prevents it all filling up so you know when you come to well you know when I I sort of want to mount my um, parting off tool or something like that on there you know I haven't got to clean out the slots everything's nice and nice and clean now these are the actual T slots on the Myford uh, ML7, uh, they're they're three eighth, um, three eighths of an inch uh, in the in the small dimension there. They're three eighths of an inch deep, and they're five eighths uh, across the bottom. And um, these that he sent me, they're a little bit loose, so they they will vibrate and come out. So a simple solution I found is just to get a little piece of cardboard and just. Uh, You know, you can just pop that sort of underneath just to create a little bit of uh, resistance. If I can do that. There you go. And that sort of, that now holds it in nice and tight as opposed to the other one which is a, a little bit slippy. Um, I am going to feed back that um, to the to the guy who makes these and tell him they're about, sort of, you know, whatever it is, about 5, 10, 15 thou under, under size. And uh, so I, I would imagine he, he'll, he'll change that in his production methods. Uh, so that these are a little bit more of a tighter fit than they currently are. Now the other product that has become available is a, uh, it's basically a shelf bracket and uh, again ma made from uh, 3D print and uh, the idea is of this is, um, well I've got, I've got several, as I presume most of you have, several uh, different uh, tool holders for your quick change tool post and I currently keep mine on a magnetic strip uh, at the back of the workbench uh, but I am constantly sort of knocking them off and one of the other problems with magnetism is of course um, you know eventually your tools become magnetized also and so you know if you are cutting uh, any ferrous material around the tip of your cutter especially like on cast iron and stuff like that you just end up with a like a big furry Big furry bush on the end of your um, on the end of your tool. That doesn't sound right, does it? Uh, anyway, moving on. Um, this um, this bracket this bracket is it's designed to be. It's got mounting holes in it, and it's does designed so that um, you know you, your tool slots onto there, and then of course you can add. You know you can have up to four on each one. I think the uh, I think you can also buy ones with uh, with less on, but I think four is the maximum that you can uh, you can fit. That one's a bit tight. Must have a bit of swarf in there or something. Let's try that one. Yeah, that's better. So there you go. So you can fit sort of um, uh, like I say four four tools on there. 
let's just put another one on for the sake of uh, completion. Don't know why the other one doesn't quite fit. So there you go. And the um, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, put um, put this on the on the bench on the wall there. I'm actually gonna order a couple more of these because uh, I'm really quite pleased with the way it works. So uh, yeah, join join me in a minute and so uh, I'll get this fixed up and uh, I'll give it a good testing. So as I was uh, saying earlier, I currently use this uh, magnetic rack on the back here and uh, I use that to sort of keep all my uh, quick change uh, tool posts on and uh, although it's, it's worked quite well, like I say, magnetism can be a bit of a problem. And another issue I have as well, if I'm sort of uh, getting something from the back here, I quite often knock these things off and it starts to drive me nuts actually. So um, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to take the magnetic rack off. I've got uh, just a little bit of plywood which I'm going to screw onto there. And then I'm going to uh, affix the, uh, the new th uh, 3D uh, printed uh, tool holder onto there. And then of course I'm, I'm gonna, I've only got the one at the moment. So uh, I'm going to buy another, well I've got about uh, a dozen or so um, quick change tool posts. So I'm going to need a couple more of these. And uh, they're actually designed so that um, uh, there's a longer space there, as you see, and a short space there. So if you bought another one, you butt it up like that, and it actually creates the you know the same space. So all your uh, tools are sort of neatly in a row. So you can put uh, as many of these in a, in a line as you like. Um, you can also have them in any colour you want. Uh, I chose orange. I don't know why. I just sort of like orange. So um, I'll get on with that, and then I'll come back to you uh, in a few minutes. Okay, so uh, there you can see it's fixed to the wall now, and um, I'm just going to pop on a couple of my um, quick change tool posts. I think that was the one that was tight actually, so that's going on okay now. see I will of course um, like I said earlier I'll, I'll probably add another uh, two down there so I'll, I'll probably get them ordered actually today and uh, as you can see they, they slot on and off nice and uh, nice and easily I just thought what a, what a great uh, great idea there's a bit of flex in them I don't know how strong they are but certainly enough flex there to, uh, to give it a plenty of years service uh, so there you go, yeah, a, another another great idea. And same goes for the um, the little T-slot bars to fit into your um, cross slide. And uh, well, these are where did you get these from? It's a company called uh, SDM Design Studio. Uh, they're based down in Oxfordshire in England. Who does wood turning and uh, obviously 3D printing and a, f a few other bits and bobs. So. Um, so you you know if you, they're not particularly expensive. So uh, have a look on the website. I'll put a, put a, put a link down uh, down below uh, with the um, the web address where you can purchase these from. Uh, they're not expensive, like I say, but they are extremely handy. So um, thank you to SDM Design for sending me this first lot. I will be ordering uh, another set of two of those because, like I say, I've got about twelve tool holders, and um, yeah, really 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 quite pleased with them. Quite impressed. Thanks for watching.